Hi, welcome to the Quick Tree Workshop. My name is Christoph, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a very interesting puzzle. So if you enjoy puzzles as much as I do, then you'll really find this very interesting. Um, I rediscovered this puzzle. Um, it's a very, as, as far as I, I've done some research, as far as I know, it's a very, very old puzzle. It's very simple, it's just a, a bunch of rings. Um, each one is interlocked with the other ring. And they're all closed. And these things can move. There's seven of them. And this uh, loop is also closed. So the objective um, is firstly to get it in so that it goes through all the through all the loops and these pins here must be also into the loop. In other words, it's very easy to put the first one in. All you do is you just put it through like that there's the first one is in so that way all all the rings should look like that there like that ah there I've got three in three of them so I've managed um, to fill around and I got to to the fifth one but I couldn't I couldn't get it further back so the objective would be to end up with this whole thing through all the rings like that. And I want to challenge you to try this without looking online uh, videos how to do this because I tried even to, to watch some videos. It's still confusing. Um, you probably figure it out if you watch a lot of videos and you and you and you can figure out the principle because now to get this out is also really a pain because now I can get it out of that one like that there's three I can get it out to get it out I need to now I'm I'm here and now I can try and get the next one in by doing this through there and there I've got four in four now to get the the next three in you have to back up again take it out 
work your way through one by one and then when you don't realize when you don't know what the principle is and you're just messing around then is I just end up getting stuck and then I try to get it out again well I'm just going to stop it there because you get the idea that this is it looks easy but it is very hard so I've got it halfway so I still need to figure out how to get the others also in through through this loop now if you want to go play around with this um, you can make your own it's very simple it's a piece of wood you draw a couple of holes and there's some loops split pins and a piece of wire so i'm going to show you how to make your own if you want to go play with this puzzle so i've got here these key rings seven of them got some split pins and then I'm just gonna place these like that I'm gonna place them so that they overlap almost like Olympic Games emblem I think if you can get bigger rings it will it will it, it might be better so depending on your ring size that will be the place where you mark your holes so I'm gonna draw a hole there so I've marked I've marked according to the rings where the holes must be And the holes are the correct size according to your split pins. And then um, the back of these split pins needs to be folded over like that so that they can't come out and then you just need a loop so i've got a piece of wire here I'm just going to bend it and then the back you can just uh, bend it and close it up so you can't cheat I'm gonna leave it open now because I want to show you what it's supposed to look like when the puzzle is in its locked position So that is what it's supposed to be like. Now, let me just close this up and close that up, and then I've got a puzzle to solve.
And there we have the, uh, the puzzle. I'm gonna try and, and see if I can solve it. So there you have it, I've made my own little, uh, that kink there, you must fine tune it so that it uh, is easy to go through all the loops. And I hope if you make this yourself and if you can solve it, leave a comment in the, um, in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you next week.